Shalom, shalom, Israel. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless you all, saints, to the Most High Yah. This is Elder Donnie here. Good, hallelujah. All praise to Yahweh. Glory to the King. Hallelujah. So, saints, man, this is uh, Elder Donnie here. I greet each and every last one of you in the name of the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. Um, and we bless you this day. We give thanks to, to the Most High Yah for allowing us to see another beautiful day. Uh, waking us up, clothing us in our right frame of mind. Hallelujah. He's been truly good to us. Uh, we're grateful for our beloved shepherd, Pastor Charles Dow, and uh, all the work that he does, his service uh, to the saints, and how he's laid down his life, hallelujah, for Yah's people and to do the work. Also, Pastor Corey and all the work that he does. We're grateful for him and, and thankful. And uh, all of the uh, elders and <clears throat> teachers, deacons, all the leadership, in Israel, hallelujah, and uh, bless all you saints who are joining me here today, because uh, like I always say, you could have been anywhere in the world that you wanted to be, but you decided to be here, and uh, great grateful for that fellowship, hallelujah, whenever we can get together, it's a, a joyous time, and it's it's, a, a, it's something to look forward to, hallelujah, because there's so much going on in the world today, Um this is our, our normal. This is our sanity. This is our life. Hallelujah. When we can come together, uh, you know, as the word tells us, if two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of it. So we're just grateful, hallelujah, to have this opportunity. You know, we take things for granted, you know, um, for whatever the situation, whatever the scenario is or could come up or arise, and we don't have these type of avenues to be able to fellowship. We need to you know, be be grateful for it and take advantage of it. And just thank Yah for the things that we may normally uh, look over or, or just not even consider. But we're thankful that Yah has blessed us and provided us with this platform and this opportunity um, to do something uh, in this world that's set apart, that's that's clean, that's that's wholesome, uh, that can be of edification for his his, his people. Hallelujah! So um, it's just beautiful. Glory to the King. As I mentioned again, this is Elder Donnie. I'm here hosting this uh, edition of the Brother segment on uh, by the Straightway Truth, broadcast to you by way of Blog Talk Radio. Hallelujah! So I see we got some tens. We're still coming in clear, and uh, Hallelujah! We're gonna get started. Glory to the King. Um, I like to read uh, a couple uh, verses here just to get started. I pray that you all had a, a beautiful day, a uh, productive day. Uh, covered in the blood of uh, Yeshua, keeping your mind sharp and 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 really, you know, focusing on um, this warfare. Hallelujah! And what we embarking upon. Uh, hallelujah! Let me uh, get started. Up. Psalms one nineteen, <clears throat> excuse me, and one eleven says, "Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart." I have inclined mine heart to perform your statues always, even until the end. I hate vain thoughts, but your law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, you evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of Yahweh. Uphold me according unto your word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto your statues continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from your statues, for their deceit. Is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore, I love your testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of your judgments. Hallelujah. And indeed, we should be, hallelujah, afraid of Yah and his judgments. Hallelujah. We know that he's just and he's righteous, but, you know, at the same time, he means business. Hallelujah. Um, He's not there to just uh, want to cast us down, cast us into hell. Because if that was the case, he could have done away with us a long time ago. Hallelujah. But he wants us to be righteous. 
Israel. He wants us to be a righteous seed. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. For we the only ones, you know, who have Yah so nigh unto us, so close to us. Um, he's right there. He's given us his, his laws, his statutes, you know. He's given all of our, all of those to us. Hallelujah. His, his, his essence, who he is. And uh, we're, we're grateful for it. And we need to act like it, too, uh, as his people. But I pray, you know, saints, that um, everybody is encouraged. Everybody is, is, is rejoicing and giving Yah thanks. Um, because, you know, the information that we've been getting uh, lately has been has been – Pretty, pretty huge. Uh, all of the, the uh, spiritual warfare, all of the deliverance information uh, that's been coming out has really, really been impactful, uh, if you allow it to be. Um, I pray that you all are still chewing on the word from yesterday, because that was, that was a lot, quite a bit to take in. That was uh, uh, quite a bit, a few days, a few uh, weeks and months worth of feasting, hallelujah, for us all. And so grateful for it and so thankful for it. Um, you know, and one of the things I was thinking about, <clears throat> and even, uh, you know, before, like in the days leading up to uh, today, I was just thinking about it and meditating on it and being grateful um, for the fact that we do have this information revealed unto us in this hour. And one of the things that I thought about that came to my mind is that, you know, we can't sit back and, you know, listen to it as just another message or just another a sermon or a good teaching. I think it's a little bit deeper than that, you know what I mean? Because of the hour that we're in, the daytime and hour, especially as we see what's going on. And the word tells us, it says, hey, y'all can see the signs of the weather. Y'all can see that, you know, it's cloudy or it's about to rain. You know you can tell those signs, but you can't tell the signs of the coming of the Son of Man. And I heard Shepard say this many years ago. You can tell if a person believes whether or not y'all is coming or not or by the way they're living. What are they doing? Right. I know we sit back and we want to hear. We're so used to hearing good food and good a good message. That's why I say what I said earlier. We take things for granted. But remember what Shepard said, we may not have the luxury of becoming soon where we can sit before these messages and feast on these things and have these things preached in our ears, uh, reminding us. Right. So then what are we going to do? That's why we need to take advantage of it. And I think the, the time that we're in now, we need to be very sober. Uh, and, and watching unto prayer, everything that's coming out, and really taking action because these what's what's being brought out is for us to get better, so we can get clean, so we can really, uh, so we're not ignorant uh, of the devil's devices, even the more so on a greater level beyond anything that we've heard before. We've never heard this stuff before. We've never seen uh, a ministry like this. We've never seen uh, such power and such uh, revelation. I know I haven't. I'll say that. I have not. Uh, all the, of the years that I've been in the church and have been around uh, church folk, right, and so-called uh, believers, I've never seen anything like it. Glory to the King. But even in myself, like especially last week, I had to just back and just think about it and, and how at times, you know, we do this life being so passive, right, we allow these thoughts just to come to and fro and, and just, just not even really being paying attention to what's really going on. We're not going to be able to do that here coming up soon. We're going to have to really hone down. And I found a clip, and I, I pray that I can get it to play. It's from, um, let's see, it's from 2019, and it's a message that Pastor Dow did on the importance of speaking in tongues. And I, I, I'll, I'll save it for later, and I, I pray that I can get it up <clears throat> because it needs to. we need to hear it. We need to be reminded of it. And it's dealing more or less with how we need to arm ourselves in the spirit to realm, right? Not necessarily looking so so much into what's going on in the natural, but really being armed because of the days ahead is going to require that. And the natural methods and the natural education and means and all of these different things that we've acquired won't be sufficient enough for us when we get uh, into the wilderness. And so that's why it's paramount that we do it now. And even in that clip he mentioned, he said, starting today, you know, the whole message was about speaking in tongues and praying in tongues, right, in our heavenly language. But he said, you need to start now building ourselves up in our most holy faith. Hallelujah. So just be prayerful with me, see if I can get it to play uh, where I need it to play and, if, and that you guys can hear it. Uh, I have another audio clip that I wanted you guys to hear, but uh, we'll save it for the, for, for the end. Hallelujah. 
So, but glory to the king. Um, you know, uh, I was listening to Elder Becker's message uh, a few weeks ago, and, you know, he was just talking about allegiance and how important it is uh, to be loyal to the Most High Yah, uh, to trust in Yah, and, you know, to give all unto him. In that message, you know, he mentioned, and Elder, he does this from time, quite often. He reminds us also about the times to come ahead and how serious uh, they are, right? Um, and how we need to really uh, be ready, be armed and, and ready to go. Um, and, and these are not his exact words, but somewhat of what, what he was saying. And he basically was saying, you know, he was talking about the allegiance, which is, as I said, commitment, loyalty, trust unto Yah as the days ahead become darker and, and become more wicked. And it will wax worse and worse in ways we can't even imagine right now. It will be a test of temperance, contentment, and <clears throat> a plethora of other spirits that we have not yet seen. Now, we can only imagine what, what that time will be like. We, we can't really, uh, to be honest with you, shoot, we, we, we can't imagine what that would be like. We can only try our best to, to get a comprehension of what that would be like based off of what we see now. Um, you know, I was showing, sharing something with uh, Deacon Bell just, just on yesterday how, you know, these women are doing certain things. I'm not going to mention it in detail what they're doing, but it's so wicked. It's, it's basically witchcraft, and it's foul. And you saw how they go to so many different lengths to capture a man or, or to, you know what I mean? And it's only old-fashioned. It's just witchcraft. It, that's what it is. I mean, now it's just being celebrated more. They have people on uh, Facebook and stuff like that, Instagram. They're selling these potions that's supposed to keep out demons or, or to keep demons at bay. And, and, and I'm like, hey, ain't no way y'all got no potion. <laughs> the word don't speak nothing like that. That's world, the world's methods. And, and I don't even trust them for anything. You, you think you're buying some type of potion or something to keep a, a devil away, but you're probably inviting them in. But, you know, we got to just be watching and, and, and be very sober. Uh, in these in these in these hours, these days that we're in right now, we can see things waxing worse and worse. But what should that do for us, saints? What does that should get us and cause us to draw nigh, draw closer? Hallelujah to Yah, um, because it is it's it's very wicked out there, extremely wicked. Um, I'm gonna say this because I just uh, normally <clears throat> I just like literally walked in from I had to work today. I don't usually work first days, but now with this new schedule and all, I'm I'm working. So <clears throat> I had some time today, really meditate on on some things. But I just want to, you know, just want to talk uh, to the saints. I noticed that when I'm talking with uh, the brethren, and you know, we're talking about different issues and things, um, how things usually just flow. And I didn't want to get so caught up in notes and all of those different things. So. I just wanted to talk to you guys and share some things that I've been, you know, meditating on. Um, I think it's very interesting that Shepard um, put that out earlier on in the last week, how we need to um, join together in prayer and be relentless in prayer um, because of the attacks and how not only for us here, but just saints all over in other countries as well. I, I made a habit of doing that some time ago, just to, you know, keep saints lifted that are in other places. We never know what they're going through. Um, you know what I'm saying? And so instead of spending time, um, you know, on social media, um, wasting time, we need to be very careful what we put before our eyes and our ears. You know, Elder Rufus mentioned that on uh, one of his uh, uh, shows that he did or, or broadcast that he did, and he talked about, you know, how it's important, how he remembered Pastor Dow had uh, told him, you know, you need to make sure that you guard your eyes and your ears. Make sure you guard what, what, what you allow it to enter in. And the same for us, we need to be doing that. Um, so much that's out there to get us distracted, throw us off course, you know. And we, 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 just like I said, we walk through this life being passive. We don't even realize what's going on. We don't realize uh, the danger in all of that. But um, we... Uh, Yeah, we got to definitely uh, hone in on, uh, especially on what's going on right now. Um, where are we at? Let's see what we got. I'll read something from this book here, The Perils on Passivity. 
because it, it, uh, it talks about how we need to be uh, in this thing. We need to be aggressive instead of being so passive and, you know what I mean, and just we expect uh, results, but we don't really do anything, right? And we know we should be doing a particular thing. We should set, set time aside for it, but we don't. Instead, we get distracted. And this is one of the things, too, that really – uh, I've been paying attention to, you know, when I'm out driving, I see a lot of people, just random people out on the road, you know. A lot of people are just so consumed with their cell phones. I even seen that one guy, he had a whole laptop, uh, like a, like a, um, yeah, he had a laptop just set up in his vehicle. And as he stopped for the red light, because I'm sitting in this big truck, I can look down and see, you know, he's doing, I guess, work or whatever he's doing, you know, a, a whole computer right there. Um, and I'm like, damn, man, you know, we, we're in such a hurry. We're in such a rush to get stuff done, you know, to the point where we, we're doing stuff that's dangerous and, and it's not, um, I mean, it, it's just, it's very dangerous. But the, the way things are set up, especially technology, is to get us to be sucked into it, you know what I mean, into where we can't even do anything else. And so much so to is addictions, you know what I mean? And so, you know, just talking to brothers and seeing uh, what's going on, it's like this This thing is kind of common. Like we'll have stuff to do, but we get distracted. But we find ourselves, we need to be reading and we need to be praying, but we'll sit there and we'll mess with our phones as killing time. we got to be very careful of that and watch that, uh, Saints, because I know it can get us all, all of us. Uh, it, maybe it's not a phone. Maybe it's your iPad. Maybe it's not an iPad or a tablet. Then maybe, you know, then you, you're glued to the computer. You, you're searching. You're scrolling. And that's scrolling and scrolling. And next thing you know, you look up and it's hours later. And what have you really put into your, you know, what have you done for your for your spirit, man? What have you done? How have you built them up? You know, so we got to be very careful with that. But when it comes to spiritual things, we're very passive. And we, you know, oh, well, I'll get to it later or, yeah, whatever. And this thing here says, it says, uh, this is from the perils of passivity. It says, our enemy is threefold. The world, the flesh, and the, the devil. We must take a definite stand against each. In fact, there is a close connection between the three. When we yield to fleshly lust or cater to the cadence of the world, we give place to the devil. We cannot afford to let our guard down and become passive toward any of these foes. Scripture, we find that Yah expects us to be aggressive. First of all, we are to be aggressive in our love for him, right? And he quotes Deuteronomy 6 and 5 and says, You shall love Yahweh, your Elohim, with all your your mind, and your, your heart, and with all your with your entire being, and with all your might. <clears throat> love is not passive, not mere feelings of words, but deeds, Right? In loving Yah, our desire must be toward Him, our delight in Him, and our dependence upon Him. It must be our constant joy to think of Him, to read His Word, to talk to Him in prayer, and to serve Him. And our love must be active, even aggressive. Hallelujah. So we got to get after this thing. Hallelujah. But we can't do it being distracted. Hallelujah! By the, the 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 cares of this life, the the uh, you know entertainment, and that's another thing. Um, I'll talk about that in just a second. But all these things that, that just keeps us away, it, it weakens our desire, it weakens our passion. Hallelujah! To do the things we need to do. Uh, we're so in this culture here in this day and age, we're so used to being entertained. We sit there and we allow. Whatever it is, whether it's movies, whether it's uh, any type of shows, whether it's games, as I mentioned earlier, whether it's scrolling, you know, through the Internet or whatever, scrolling through um, social media. We're so used to those things. We can't, even, we can't approach the word in that same manner. You know, last Shabbat, uh, when Pastor first um, introduced us to the whole marine kingdom and that whole world, right, you know, I know a lot of the saints were – you know, a little, like, on edge, or, or I should say they were just anticipating a little bit more from the message. When it was cut short, we're so used to receiving and, and getting that we don't even know how to appreciate and say thank you. Um, Y'all knows what, exactly what we need because you think about it. 
He's chosen this time right here for us to be able to receive this information. He knew when we can handle it and when it was time. So we need to be thankful. We can't be like the Greeks, right, and just all we do is sit around and want to hear uh, the next new thing, the oohs and the ahs, right? This is, is a little deeper than that, right? So we got to be able to appreciate, um, you know, what the Father has for us. And not only that, not just be there just to sit there and listen and hear, and then once we're out of there, it, it's gone. But, no, let's put this into practice. Let's now do. Let's now search a little bit more. Now Let's now pray. Let's do some more. Let's fast now. Let's see. You know what I mean? Like when – uh, Shepherd brought out what he did about us praying. That's what I, that's the point that I was making earlier and, and it slipped my mind. But, you know, um, us and not dispatching, uh, the, the, the angels, the heavenly hosts, they're there for us. But why is it that we're so hesitant to, to reach out to them? Hallelujah. It reminds me of, uh, who was it? Elisha, right? And he was trying to show his servant, like, he's like, yeah, please open his eyes, y'all, so that he can see. So you can see that they that are, that are with us are more than they that are that are with them. And when 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 his eyes were open, he was able to see like uh, the mountain was compassed with nothing but fiery chariots and, and horses and you know what I mean. I was sharing that with a brother just just yesterday, and, and it, I guess the the image of it it just really hit the brother, and he was like, "Whoa!" I was reading over it earlier today while I took a break at work, and it was just it was. I was just laughing because that was just like, it's powerful. Like, we really comprehend it and understand, like, how Yah is there for us, right? We have we have so much uh, available to us. Hold on one second. Let me see. Let me know, Saints, if, if y'all are still there. Let me get a 10 in the chat or text message or something. Good, good. We're still here. Hallelujah. I didn't get disconnected like like I thought. All right, glory to the king. All right, I appreciate it, uh, Brother Willie, Sister Brittany. Hallelujah, Susie. Nanette, thank y'all. Appreciate that. Glory to the king. All right, where we at? Let's see. Glory to the king. Let me go to, uh, let's see. Psalms 34, 7. Where it says, The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. And it says, O oh, taste and see that Yahweh is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. O oh, fear Yahweh, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek Yahweh shall not want any good. Come, you children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of Yahweh. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil, and your lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous, and his ears are upon are open upon their cry. The face of Yahweh is against them that do evil. Cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. It says, the righteous cry, and Yahweh heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Hallelujah. So that right there is letting us know he's there for us. Hallelujah. We just got to call on him. We got to cry out to him. But we got to be doing it in righteousness. We can't be just do living any kind of lifestyles and thinking that Yah going. Nah, because he just told you that. The wicked, he's not, he's not there for them, right? So hallelujah. But we have all of this. Uh, at our fingertips, we have uh, <clears throat> Yah that we can call on, call upon, right? Um, when we when we in, in time of need, in time of trouble, whatever the case is, we have Him there. And so I think that's very important, and that's huge for us to to do. Um, glory to the King, because because of the things that we're learning now, 
Ooh, Jesus. <clears throat> it's it's a lot. You know, I was listening to some, some videos and of uh some witches and, and things like that. They were telling stories and one of the uh persons said that, you know, in America a lot of these stories that, that, that was speaking of that they were speaking about, it might sound uh I don't want to say for fed uh, outlandish or whatever, but he was just basically saying that they're not used to them dealing with witchcraft and, and sorcery and all of these different things. But in Africa, it's a big deal. They've been dealing with certain um, spirits and, and, and witches and all of that, so it's it's not uncommon for them to hear uh, the, the the length and the depth that people will go to, uh, uh, I don't know, put spells on people or whatever the case is, right? And so... I'm just saying all that because it's like, you know, now we see uh, a lot of this stuff at the forefront. We see even these um, these companies, Disney and all of them, right, uh, introducing that stuff. I know a lot of us, none of us should be watching that stuff, but we're aware of what goes on with it. You think about how devout uh, those people are, those witches and, and things, how, and those sorcerers, right, and those enchanters, how devout they are um, to Satan, it puts us to shame, many of us. It does. Uh, a lot of times we, we don't even realize it, but we, we give over to the devil's devices. The word tells us to resist Satan and he will flee, right? But we're so caught up that we don't even, we can't even make the distinction. We don't, you know what I mean? We're just going along about our life doing our thing. But I think it's so important, uh, prayer and fasting that we need to incorporate that even the more so, uh, into our lives, and that's the only way we're going to be able to combat what's going on. That's the only way we're going to be able to get strength. That's the only way we're going to be stronger, to break these uh, strongholds, these generational curses and things that are that are going on right now, especially uh, in a lot of us. We've been um, exposed to uh, some things like, you know, one of the things that I heard, <clears throat> a lady was giving a testimony of how she was set free, but she also mentioned how deep it went. It wasn't nothing that she did personally, but but she went back into her family line, right, and was talking about different things. And, you know, we don't even realize it. So I come from an area, right, that's uh, down south, uh, Louisiana. We take for granted uh, a lot of things. Like we used to hear about voodoo, right, but I never had nobody directly that I knew that did, that, that, that I knew of that partook in that. But it was all around us. Like when I sit back and I was talking to my wife about it, I was like, you know what, this stuff was – that was real. We just, you know, we just ran in different circles. But we see, the, we saw the murder. It was the murder capital of the world for many years. It was a place that people loved death. They loved to uh, have uh, revelry. They loved to eat and drink. Matter of fact, they would even say it. And I don't even think they, they realized that uh, what they were saying. They would often say stuff like, well, we're going to eat, we're going to drink, we're going to do this, we're going to die one day. Basically, like what it says in the word, let us eat and drink for tomorrow we die. You know, we don't even realize it, but <clears throat> grew up around a lot of that stuff, right? I don't know who dealt with what or who, you know, who was uh, um, in what um, type of, you know, who made what covenants with, with on whatever altar. I don't know. So I'm making it my business to, to make sure that I, I do some deep searching and, and, and asking the Father that, uh, you know, to reveal these things. And as I was sharing with another brother, I was like, you know what? We're going to, have to be praying in, the, in in tongues and speaking in tongues quite a bit. We want to do it. We want to pray because a lot of stuff we can't even utter. We don't even know what to ask for. We don't even know how to repent, and that's why it's so paramount for us to be praying and speaking in tongues, and not all the time in our audible voice because we don't know. We don't know uh, the things and how deep it is. Hallelujah! But we need that intercession. We need uh, the Holy Spirit, right? But uh, I'm just grateful, hallelujah, and thankful, uh, as I said earlier, because this is a, is, a, is a good time, you know, to be alive, hallelujah, even with all that's going on, hallelujah. So, but uh, yeah, it's good. Let me, uh, let's see, what, what we at? We at all right, 635, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the king. I got... Um, couple of things here. Then I'm going to take a quick break to a ministry break. Um, hallelujah. I'm going to do that right now. Thanks. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick, quick ministry break. 
uh, and I'll be right back. Let's see. Let's see if I can find one. Let me see. Shalom, this is Sister Wenda. I hope that all of you are enjoying the live stream that you're listening to right now. We appreciate each and every last one of you, our faithful listeners and supporters of the Straightway Truth Ministry. We try to make sure we do our due diligence and do our best to ensure that you have the best broadcast as well as the truth coming to you in the hour that we're living in right now. If you would like to help us in this endeavor, your offering will be greatly appreciated in the work of the Ministry of the Most High Yah. Our mailing address for your gift, offering, or letter of support is Straightway Truth Ministry, 641 Highway 52, Bypass West, Number 7, Lafayette, Tennessee, 37083. And Lafayette is spelled L-A-F-A-Y-E-T-T-E. Again, our mailing address is Straightway Truth Ministry, 641 Highway 52, Bypass West, Number 7, Lafayette, Tennessee, 37083. If you would like to send a personal note to Pastor Charles Dowell, just add the letters C forward slash O in front of the word straightway, and your letter will go directly to him. If you would like to contact us by way of phone, the country code is 1, area code 615-688-3025. You may leave a message there, and be the Father's will, we will do everything we can to return your message. And if you would like to know more about our healing, deliverance, and truth ministry, keep up to date on events, or find a home fellowship closest to you, please visit our website at straightway.com. Straightway is spelled S-T-R-A-I-T-W-A-Y dot com. It is our hope and our prayer that as you continue to listen to the Straightway Truth Ministry, and as you apply the teachings of this ministry, that you are finding peace and growth within you, your family, and life as well. Please tell others so that the truth may also have an impact and touch others' lives so that they may enjoy the benefits of the truth of Jesus Christ just like we all are. Shalom. The King is coming. You know, the children know his name. And he shall be called Advocate, Lamb of God, the Resurrection and the Life, Shepherd and Bishop of Souls, Judge, Lord of Lords, Man of Souls, Head of the Church, Master, Faithful and True Witness, Rock, High Priest, the Door, Living Water, Bread of Life, Rose of Sharon, Alpha and Omega, True Vine, Messiah, Teacher, Holy One, Mediator, the Beloved, Branch, Carpenter, Good Shepherd, Light of the World, Image of the Invisible God, the Word, Chief Cornerstone, Savior, Servant, Author and Finisher of our faith, the Almighty, Everlasting Father, Shiloh, Light of the Tribe of Judah, I Am, King of Kings, Prince of Peace, Bridegroom, Only Begotten Son, Wonderful Counselor, Emmanuel, Son of Man, Day Spring, the Amen. King of the Jews, Prophet, Redeemer, Anchor, Bright Morning Star, the Way, the Truth, and the Life, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless y'all. Thanks to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. Elder Donnie here. Again, on this edition of the Brothers segment, where we contend for the faith. Hallelujah. I hadn't heard that uh, in a while, the children. Uh, saying the name of uh, all the names of, uh, of Messiah, of Yah. But I, I came, it came to mind yesterday. It was at the table. We heard all of the children after we blessed the food, and they were loud in their, 
in their hallelujahs after we prayed. So I was like, hallelujah. But glory to the king. It's good. Hallelujah. We can learn a lot from the children, right? Hallelujah. They have so much energy and so much uh, enthusiasm. Hallelujah. And uh, a lot of times, you know, you look at them, you, you correct them, and then they get right back up and they, they, they shake it off. Hallelujah. And they go on about doing whatever, but we can learn a lot from them. Hallelujah. And we're told not to, uh, you know, we got to allow them as well to grow in this thing and, and to learn. Hallelujah. But as I was just talking to uh, y'all, uh, you know, about different different things, especially with us uh, now, just to keep our minds and our hearts focused uh, on on the kingdom, number one. But as we're in this life and we're, we're fighting day to day, it's a real battle. It's a real fight, and uh, we gotta embrace it. Glory to the King, and be ready and willing, um, you know, to 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 oppose Satan's kingdom. Uh, there's a lot of temptations. There's a lot of things that come up. Uh, before us, but it's up to us. What are we going to do? Are we going to resist the devil or are we going to give in? Hallelujah. Showing by whichever way we choose whose kingdom we're operating under. Hallelujah. So we don't ever want Satan, uh, you know, to, to win, right? We don't. We want to uphold Yah's kingdom and all of his righteousness. But as I'm learning more and more in this thing, it takes a, a conscious effort. You know, um, how important it is for us as men in Israel to, to take care of our homes, right, to uh, cover our homes, <clears throat> to protect, to provide, right, to be there spiritually. I think it's more than that protection is way more, I know it is, way more than than us just being, you know, macho men and having our guns drawn and having, you know, all this weaponry and, and all of that. But it's what about spiritually, you know, saints? Uh, brothers on here that are listening in, what about us covering them spiritually? Because that's what they need the most of. We can't overlook it when we leave out for for, for the work for the day or, or we leave, whatever the case is, we need to cover them, make sure that they are protected, make sure that, you know, to covering them with the blood of Jesus from any attacks of the enemy because he's out there, he's busy, always working. And we see, especially on yesterday, how they the enemy uses them as the weaker vessel. So we need to be put that hedge of protection around them, standing in a gap for them on a constant basis, even throughout the day, all the time, right? <clears throat> Just guarding them. That's real true protection. That's real true, uh, true covering. But we got to be in our right frame of mind. We got to be, uh, you know, operating um, at an optimal state of, of, of spirituality, right? <clears throat> being sober, as the word tells us, because the devil, he's walking around to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. We got to be vigilant, as the word tells us. Be sober, glory to the king. You know, when fasting, you know how it <clears throat> it helps and heightens your sense, especially spiritually. It makes us stronger. You know, we're able to fast. We're able to pray because we have a desire to do so. We don't have all those distractions. We don't have all the shit that's in the foods, the chemicals, and all the stuff that is there to desensitize us from getting after our father's business, right, and doing the things that we know we should be doing. I think all of us, myself included, right, and this is a conscious effort and in in, in, in things that I've been working on and, and paying attention and noticing how we put down the food or we put down these things uh, that are distracting us, whether it be cell phones, whether it be movies, whether it be games, any of these things, right, and do, even if it's for a few minutes, right, pray. Even if it's for a few minutes, read word, do a word study, do something, take our mind off of that. We can't sit around no more and say, oh, well, I don't have the time, or I can't, I can't seem to fight this, or it's, it's just getting me, I need some deliverance. No, you need to change your, what you're doing. There's some lifestyle changes. What's more important to you? Is the shit that you see that, that's entertaining you, that's, 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 uh, getting you away and distracting you and uh or you you think you're bored and these things are that are entertain or these things are that are comfort you. No, let's get down to the real root of it. What's really causing that, right? What's really um causing you to to to, to want to escape? Let's get to the real heart of the matter. Right? And especially as us men in Israel, as we the, supposed to be leading the charge, right? The true bride of Christ, the example that we need to set for them. Right? <clears throat> But glory to the king. Um, hallelujah. As I want to remind you all, just as shepherds put out there a charge for us to uh, pray. 
uh, during this time. Um, be very diligent in prayer, especially for him, his family. Um, praying because, you know, the enemy don't like what he's putting out. He don't. He really don't. And so we got to always be, be keep him uh, lifted, uh, praying that, you know, his faith doesn't fail him, also praying for covering, for protection uh, against the enemies and dispatching uh, yeah, holy angels, right, warrior angels to defeat the enemy, right, tearing down all strongholds and, 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 and all traps and schemes, devices, and all these things that the enemy may try to set up for all of us and keep everybody in mind, all of Israel, no matter where they at. You know, from one end of the earth to the other. Um, and so you just never know. You know, I think about the sister, sister uh, Jordan situation. I know Deacon Bell mentioned that last week when he was on the broadcast. You know, and you think about the level of um, faithfulness that she showed and, and her eagerness to uh, want to serve the Father, even against all adversity. We don't know who's out there that may be up against some adversity to that level where they can't even – make it known what they're doing. They got to go in secret. They got to, you know what I mean? So we got to be keeping them lifted. We don't know who's out there vexed or tormented, who's being driven. I know uh, just the other day it just came to me. I don't know who it is out there, but whoever it is that's, that's being tormented right now, you know, the enemy can play on uh, people, especially if it's them in that, that area. They may feel like they're alone. All of these challenges and all of these things and even the things that we have going on within ourselves and our respect areas that we are. We have a lot to keep us busy, um, saints, rather than return to the world. And it's good to, to, to see the saints and, and want to, you know, fellowship and see all of the different things that are going on. But this is our life, um, saints. You know, this is our life. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is what's happening for us. Like right? there's, there's a saying that says, Hey, we, we all that we got. We all that we need. That's, that's it. Us and our y'all. Glory to the King, but um, we are, uh, it's going to be interesting, hallelujah, saints, in, in the days ahead, but I, I thank y'all so much for arming us uh, right now, preparing us, giving us the things that we need, um, and it, it was, I wasn't able to get that video to play for whatever reason, I can't get it up um, to be able to play it back uh, for y'all, uh, but then I'll just try to do my best. And you guys can go listen to that because that message from eleven zero nine nineteen was a very good message on um, speaking in tongues. And the, the thing about that particular message stood out to me so much is because I was uh, I was in Georgia the week prior to that visiting with Straightway Georgia, and the the conversation myself and Elder Rufus he was talking to me about the same thing, and then Pastor Dow ended up preaching about it, and it was just so powerful. It was so powerful. Um, the message. But in a particular portion of it, he went on to say that, you know, land navigation and certain things like that, those are the things that we learn in the natural. Those things are not going to be sufficient enough in the days ahead to be able to uh, protect us and, and uh, help us to lead us. It's going to have to strictly be led by, by the Spirit. That's how we're going, to, we're going to be able to do it. All things that we're going to be doing. We're going to be indefinitely moving in silence, but we're going to have to be really dependent upon the Holy Spirit. And he went on to say, you know, you're going to, it's going to be a time where, you know, you're going to be praying or you're going to be looking for answers for something or seeking something, and it's going to pop in your mind. The Holy Spirit is going to, bam, just drop, download it right there. We're going to have to be connected in order for that to take place. That's what he kept stressing. He said from this day forward, get it in your minds, get it in your hearts, that start praying more get more in the spirit right that's the only way we're going to be able to go forward hallelujah and i'm just echoing those those sentiments echoing that because it was just i don't know how many times i listened to it so many different times that particular portion right there and it just uh hallelujah thanks for uh co-host for uh, posting that in there did i get that uh da, 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 da. yeah i think it was 11 Oh nine nineteen, if I'm not mistaken. Hallelujah! But hallelujah! Um, all praise to the Most High Yah. We bless His holy name. Um, since I got some, let's see. I think I covered pretty much the bulk of what I what was on my mind, on my heart, on my spirit uh, to share with y'all. Um, just to, just as encouragement as we go on forward in these uh, days ahead. As interesting as nothing to fear. 
right, as we've been learning. And I think that's the one, too, to bring that out and then the the, the, the sequence of how things are going, uh, not to let these things bother us, throw us off course, but we got a greater one with us. Hallelujah. And so we need to fight for his kingdom. Hallelujah. Uh, striving, striving with everything we got, being aggressive. Glory to the King, because we 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 do have a, a somewhere to go, somewhere to be. We have a destination, and all that we're doing right here is not for in vain. It's not in vain, right? It's not for nothing, for no reason. It's not formalities. It's not a, a ceremony. It's not this thing, this routine that we do. You know, we're really in this thing to improve ourselves, and we're in this thing to really grow. Hallelujah! Uh, to be blameless, to be to be seen without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, hallelujah, to be uh, the children that Yah want us, called us to be, hallelujah, his holy seed. So let me see what else I got. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm uh, going to bid you all shalom, um, glory to the king, and just encourage you all just to continue to pray for one another, continue to uh, be there for one another. You know, we need each other in these last times. Glory to the King. None of us can do it alone. Hallelujah. We think we can, but we can't. Hallelujah. So I'm just so grateful for the, for, for Yah and, and all he's done and all he's doing for us all. Glory to the King to, to even know y'all on this side of, of glory. Hallelujah. So it's, uh, I'm going to say it's, it's, uh, hard, well, it is what it is, you know. Um, Yah brought us here. This is where the straight way is where he brought us. And uh, this is this is where he have us, and, and this is where we, we need to be and to grow and to learn. You know, forget what everybody else out there is doing. You know, we see people that's not even really serious about this walk. On one hand, you claim you're Israel, but you don't keep his commandments. You know what I mean? You're making all these excuses for why you want to do what you want to do. We can't, uh, that's not up for us. We're not going to see any kind of blessing. We're not going to be protected at all um, if we don't um, adhere and if we don't obey his commands. Hallelujah. There's been some deep uh, stuff that's been preached to us. And and the thing about it I like is I prayed about this some years ago that Yahweh really um, reveal unto me the, the secrets of my heart, the secret sins of my heart. The things that I don't see, the things that I don't know, that don't even come to mind, show me the wickedness. And now we can see, hallelujah, we can see. I thank God that, for me in particular, he's showing me some things. And it's a beautiful day, hallelujah. It's not a time to to get sad and be all, you know, distraught. And, uh, no, but giving thanks. Hey, you know what? These things, uh, I operate in these things or I have dealt with this for so long, but guess what? I'm about to get free now. As I mentioned, the word aggressive. We got to be aggressive with it. Hallelujah. Um, I'm going to read this before we close out. Uh, let me get there first. Uh, da, 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 da. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. And these are just some verses on on prayer, just to keep in mind, all right? Um, from Sirach, it starts Sirach, uh, verse 7, starting to verse 14. It says, use not many words in the multitude of elders and make not much babbling when thou prayest. Matthew 6 and 7 says, but when you pray, Use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask him. Ecclesiastes uh, 5 and 2 says, Be not rash, this Ecclesiasticus, be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before Yah. For Yah is in heaven and thou upon earth. Therefore, let your words be few. Before you pray, prepare yourself. This is Sirach 18.23. Before you pray, prepare yourself. 
and be not as one that tempted Yah. This is Psalm 5 and 1. It says, Give ear to my words, O Yahweh. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my Yah. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shall you hear in the morning, O Yah. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto you and will look up. Sirach 39 and 5, it says, He will give his heart to resort early to Yahweh that made him and will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. Hallelujah. So glory to the King. A lot of different instructions there as far as praying. But the most main thing, too, is that when we go before Yah, we do so, we go before his throne, we go humbly, right? We don't go trying to make all of the, you know, many words and all of this stuff, but we go before him. He already knows what we have need of, right? He needs us just to go before him. He needs us to, to open our mouths, right? But everything that we do, we do it in order. Hallelujah. Let me see if I can get this to pray. And this real quick, and then after that, I'll, I'll end. Uh, let's see if you guys can even hear this real quick. <clears throat> and what this is, this is just a, 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 a just a little excerpt from a, a book on prayer and fasting. And uh, let's see if I get a comfort. and defiant. 
They are familiar spirits that have been in your family. But you have to get to the point that you don't care how messed up your family is. You say, it is stopping with me. This is not going on to another generation. This is it, devil. If my grandmother or grandfather didn't stand against it, if my mother and father didn't defeat it, I'm going to defeat it. I refuse to be poor, broke, sick, rejected, messed up. No. Sometimes you have to do something unusual, extraordinary, and beyond the norm to see breakthrough. Normal church, normal Christianity, normal preaching, and normal praying are not going to get the job done. Some little sweet prayer is not going to do. Religion won't get it done. It is going to take an anointing that destroys the yoke. But aside from his voice and, and, and different things like that, there, there's some truth to it, what he was saying quite a bit. And that whole thing about uh, prayer and fasting is going to help uh, to, to break a lot of this, uh, any strongholds and, and demons that 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 been there. Hallelujah. So throughout all of this, uh, just keep in mind, saints, hallelujah, don't be weary and well-doing, hallelujah, for we shall reap. If we faint not, hallelujah, let us be encouraged uh, as we go out uh, and about and uh, to tear down Satan's kingdom, hallelujah. We're warriors, glory to the king, but I'm going to, let me see. Pray this one last, I'll play this one last clip here. It's only 30 seconds here and then we'll end. All right, saints. Good word, Pastor. Watch unto prayer. Hallelujah. Every great thing and every good thing that is accomplished in the Most High God is by watching, not with the natural eyes, but with the spiritual eyes. It's accomplished in prayer. And prayer gives you the strength to go forward. Hallelujah. Um, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, bless y'all, saints. Hallelujah. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed, powerful, and overcoming. Hallelujah. Through the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. So bless y'all. Y'all, this is Elder Dine. I'm signing off uh, from this edition of the Brother Segment. Hallelujah. Brought to you by Blog Talk Radio, the straightway truth. Y'all be encouraged, all right, saints? Shalom, shalom, and bless you all. Hallelujah. <laughs> Uh-oh, look at him looking.